Hello everybody. It's time to make another video on setting up a free web hosting account. It turns out X10 hosting is temporarily suspended uh, adding new free accounts so we can't use X10 hosting. So as always we'll start with Google and we'll do free web hosting or excuse me free PHP web hosting. Now first thing I'll tell you about Google is skip past all the ads. Um, nothing's free if they spend the money to give you a Google ad. And even some of these, uh, I don't know, I guess they're, you know, things that show you a bunch of different options. These tend to, you know, try and sell you something too. I'm going to go down to the regular listings, get rid of the ads, and you'll see that 000 web host is one of the first one. That's probably a good sign that it's up and active. Um, if it wasn't active, Google would probably uh, move it down on the listing. Uh, there's also uh, hosting facts. That's another one of those that lists a bunch of different options. But again, they're usually trying to sell you something. The next one here, after 00 web hosting, the next one here that looks like a reasonable one here is this infinityfree.net. That might work. Um, someone please give it a try. Let me know. Remember, we are not, I repeat, not going to pay for anything here. There are free web hosts out there. You just have to find them. Just looking at this list, I think 00 Web Host is a choice, Infinity Free is a choice, and it looks like this award space might work too. Uh, but again, I haven't tried that one, so who knows. So I'm going to go ahead and start with 000 Web Host. I've used that a few years ago, um, switched over to X10 hosting. Maybe I'll switch back. Uh, you can see right up front, it says there's a free option. Uh, doesn't try and sell you a domain name. Don't buy a domain name. Don't buy anything. We want to use free web hosting. Looks like their business model here is they're going to try and upgrade you here to one of these. And if you're doing a commercial site, yeah, you want to pay for your hosting. If you're doing an actual website for a business, you want to pay. But this is a website for a class. So let's go ahead and take the free option. Don't pay for anything. All right, so I didn't have much luck there at 00 Web Host, so let's go to Infinity Free and see what we can do with that one. Free unlimited web hosting. That sounds pretty good. Let's sign up and see what we can do. I am definitely not a robot. So let's see, uh, that looks pretty easy so far. Let's hope, cross your fingers and hope this works. All right, I'll check my phone, see if it showed up. Nothing yet, I'm waiting for my email. Where'd it go, where'd it go, where'd it go? Hmm, nothing yet on my email, I'm waiting for it. Okay, so I finally checked the correct email account, and there's my email, and I click on it, and I clicked on verify email address, and it came up with this screen. It looks like I have an account. Woohoo! Now what can I do? I want to set up a web page here. So I'm guessing I will go to create an account. And here's my hosting account. Ignore the ads. All right, it looks like I'm gonna do freecluster.eu. Now, I'm not going to set up my own domain name. That usually costs so money. So I'm going to call, call this one, uh, I don't know, Ferguson something. All right, and it looks like I got a choice of where I can do. Uh, let's do infinity free app. Dot com, I guess. So I'll pick this one. So it looks like my website address is going to be fergusoncoc.infinityfreeapp.com. And I will search for that one. Wait, wait, wait. Okay, so it says I can use that one. Uh, da, 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 da. Okay, you know, it must be between A and the boom, boom, boom. 
leave empty to generate uh, okay all right let's pick a password uh, let's pick a password of All right, so I've picked a password. I'll click on I am not a robot. And I will create my account. Hmm. There is a very strange username right there. But that looks like my username right there. Looks like I'm pretty much done. That was pretty easy. I'm very surprised. Uh, I'm going to open the control panel to see if I can get to my stuff. Also, I think, boy, I better start keeping track of some of this stuff. Uh, um, write down the username and uh, let me do this. Let's go here. I'm going to come over here on here and keep track of some of this stuff because I got so many accounts I, I lose track of it. And let's see, I believe my name was Ferguson COC. Um, dot infinity free app I'll double check that when we get there but those are the two things I need to know my website address which will be that one and my account name under there we're going back to the site let's open the control panel it's this view and client area I don't know what that is but I know what a control panel is all right. All right. I am saying I approve. I will allow you to send me email. All right, so I just clicked on the home button there, and I was not getting my control panel. So it looks like I've got some good stuff here. We've got an online file manager. That might be a way to upload and do stuff. Uh, we definitely seem to have some PHP down here, so it looks like we're supporting PHP. Uh, I like the FTP for uploading, um, but a lot of people just use the... Uh, online file manager to do it so let's click on that huh there we go do not upload files here I bet I have to go to hgdocs to do that there's an index.html file there now what that tells me is there's already something at my address um, a default page let's click on that I want to see what's there I'll click on edit. Boop, 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 boop. Looks like there's something here. Time to build your website, yada, yada, yada. Let's see if I can go to this address. I'm going to go out to what I chose as my website name and see if that works. That's awesome. It looked like it worked. Uh, that's the address I was expecting it at. That looks to me like there's something there. All I got to do now is swap out this HTML file for a PHP file, and I may be up and running. Now, how do I get out of this editor? I say close it. Um, Files to your website should be uploaded here. Hmm. Do, do, do. What is that? Is that an upload? That's a logout button. That's a help button. What is that? That's a history. All 
So here I'm on college1.com. I'm at lecture one. And I got a couple of little scripts here. There's one that I could use. Uh, that one's kind of lame, though. Let's use this one. There is a little PHP program right there. Let's see if I can get that one to work over on my Infinity Web Hosting. All right, backup. All right, so HDDocs is the folder you want to be in, and how you do things is down here. There is an upload button. If you have a file on your computer that you want to upload to this folder, you press that button. Uh, there's download if you want to download it. Uh, new file or new folder. Uh, show editor, blah, 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 cut, copy. All right, I'm going to go new file. And I'm going to create an index.php file. And say, OK. Now there's my index.php file. I can say, let's paste our script into there. Back to College One. I gotta go copy that again. There's my little program from College One. Oh, there it is. I hit the save button. Yeah, I guess I saved it and I closed it. Oh, there it is. Now here's an important step. Generally, a web server, a web host, will have an index file that it automatically loads first. My guess is it will try and load this index2.html file first. So I'm going to rename it. So if this has got a different name, I'll just put an X there, right? If this has got a different name, shh, that should do it. Eh, maybe I should put the X on the other side. Let's do X index. And the reason I'm giving it a different name is so when I go to the website, it doesn't try to load this one automatically. Right. But I left it there in case I want to rename it back. So now I have my index.php file. If I come over to my website address and hit reload, voila, there it is. That wasn't too bad at all. Uh, once I realized that there were buttons down at the bottom of the screen, uh, I'm up and running here. So it turns out this is a little HTML there, and there is my PHP actually running on this website. And all I really need is this part of the address. And I go to there, and boom, it's working. If I go back and look at my file again, say edit it. You want to make a quick change? Uh, let's put in it. It works here. It works. All right, so that'll verify it. I'll hit save, although the autosave option I just clicked right there seemed to be working. And I come back here and I hit reload and voila. Not only do I have a file uploaded, I have changes working on it. It's looking pretty good. Now I do wanna make one very serious warning here. You may be tempted to just work in this editor window like this and that's not a good idea you got to keep a copy of this file on your computer so whether you write this program on your computer and then upload it or copy and paste it here or go the other way write the code here copy this code bring it back to your computer and save a copy on your computer Always, 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 100% of the time, keep a copy of your web page files on your own computer. On my website, there's a complete copy on my web server, there's a complete copy on my laptop, and there's a complete copy on my desktop. I keep three copies of every file I upload to the, to the server. So it's very important to have a backup, especially for a free host. You never know when the site's going to go down and maybe you have to switch to another host. Uh, you don't know when maybe your account gets deactivated for who knows what reason. Uh, I have seen in the past a lot of the free hosts will deactivate an account if you don't use it. You know, I have students that, you know, two or three weeks, they don't do any lab work and all of a sudden, boom, their account gets deactivated. So always, always keep a copy of your web page on your computer. I'm going to go ahead and file and save this bad boy. And I'm going to make sure that I keep a copy on my computer. 
Also, for this host, it looks like you need to keep track of your username and your website address. This is the website address I'm going to upload to Canvas to tell my me, the instructor, where my website is at. All right, so that went pretty quickly. Uh, I'm pretty pleased with that host. Uh, I'm going to think I'm going to recommend Infinity Free App for everybody. Um, again, sorry about X10 hosting going down, but that's the nature of free web hosts. It turns out giving away things for free is not a good business model. Uh, most of these survive off of advertising revenue, and eventually they'll try and upgrade you to, to buy something from them. Um, I know when I'm working on a student site, I use a free hosting app. When I'm working on a real site, things like College One or GameSci, I go ahead and pay for the hosting. But don't pay for hosting for this class. Go ahead and use the free one. Once you get good at it, you want to build somebody a website, uh, don't use a free host. Go ahead and buy them a web host. Anyway, uh, that's it. I've got you up and running on Infinity Free Hosting, whatever that is. Let's go back and double check that. All right, infinityfree.net. That's the name of the one. Have a good day. We'll see ya.